Joyous greetings to you in the name of Jesus. I am pleased to share a pictorial review of the Children and Adolescents Ministries Department to the distinguished delegates gathered here today. This fundamental department is the nursery of our church and its health status has implications for the life of our organization. Our mission is to nurture the child into a loving, serving relationship with Jesus and that is accomplished through multiple ministries. Therefore, the programs and activities within these ministries should contribute significantly to the development of their faith. This report brings to you highlights of programs and activities from the Union as well as our local conferences and missions. We begin with leadership ministries. There was a heavy emphasis on training because we believe our volunteers must be equipped to plan for and effectively teach our children. So we began with the most challenging area, special needs. Camp Belanger in Trinidad was the venue for this weekend training. Dr. Linda Cole, Sister Denora Rivera, and Dr. Kern Tobias were among the presenters. The participants thoroughly enjoyed the various tasks and projects within the presentations by Dale Sinjis and Gainal Ramkisun. The other training programs conducted were mostly children's ministries, certification, Sabbath school training, and vacation Bible school workshops. These were well supported by many churches, and we appreciate the high level of effort and resources that were put into these events. Our two major Zoom trainings were well attended. The first one, was the Foundations for Strategic Faith Building course. This program was open to teachers as well as parents. And one of the significant sessions conducted by Dr. Sostin Mafuni shared several valuable techniques for teaching even our babies. The second training focused on child safety. This received a lot of attention during this quinquennium and you could understand why. Facilitators from Adventist Risk Management along with attorneys Talisha Williams and the Pastor Anthony Hall shared the legal requirements as well as policies and procedures to safeguard our children. My brothers and sisters, I pause to humbly solicit your assistance to ensure that every worker is trained and every church implements these policies and procedures. Grace Oriented Ministries, our second month, this section covers activities that are very, very interactive. They are the 13 Sabbath programs, Children's Days, prayer days, week of prayer, and Bible studies. And we also commend those coordinators and teachers who made every effort to ensure that our children receive the benefits of these essential programs. I am also pleased to let you know that many of our leaders created or organized very extraordinary programs which were of great benefit to our children. Some of these notable programs are Devotions on the Go from the East Caribbean Conference, Hey Auntie Linda from North, and the Online Bible Quiz from South Leeward. Grounded was another very successful program, program for our adolescents. Apart from the spirit-filled devotional sessions that were specially designed for them, there were also seminars on topics such as goal setting, mental health, 
test taking, anxiety, coping skills, and anger management. These sessions were instru instructive, pardon me, as well as inspirational, and our teenagers were grateful. Service oriented ministries. One of the key objectives in discipling our children is active service in the church and in the community. And some of the inspiring examples reported to us were food hamper and toys distribution, as well as visits to the elderly on the island of St. Lucia in Guyana. Breakfast was provided for children in needy areas and what a welcome event this was. And over in Suriname, many children paid get well visits to the elderly and shut-ins in the community. And also, I'm happy to say that many of our children willingly donated to our union-wide mission project entitled Make Them Smile. Toys, coloring books, crayons were collected and shipped to the island of St. Vincent for the children in the volcano shelters. The radiant smiles of the children expressed their gratitude. Our coordinators also organized etiquette training, fun days, and even a bike-a-ton to cater for the social and physical development of our boys and girls. Safe Ministries. In addition to the child protection training, several churches organized child protection motorcades and marches in an effort to raise the level of awareness and break the silence for child abuse in our communities. Evangelistic Ministries. We praise God for the increasing number of churches who invest and participate in this very crucial area of ministry. The longest standing child evangelism program is the Vacation Bible School. This fun and interactive way to introduce Jesus to children is also very attractive to children who are unchurched. And we look forward to the revival of this very valuable program in the areas where it has decreased. The Talking Backpack Evangelistic Program from the IAD was also used in our union for vacation Bible school as well as children's church. And it was also used successfully in a school in the hinterland region of Guyana. Many children accepted Jesus as their forever friend while attending these meetings. The most outstanding evangelist for this program also came from that area and she was rewarded with a trip to the celebrations at the Inter-American Division office in Miami. School prayers for the SEA and the common entrance exams continue to be a great feature and many of our young students testify to the blessing of this. Two very frequently used programs, however, are Bible studies and the children's crusades and they were outstanding efforts from our children in St. Lucia, Suriname, Grenada, East, North, and the South Caribbean Conference. The Lord has blessed the efforts of our youth, and we are encouraged as we continue to train our young evangelists. I pause to salute Sister Aileen Thomas for conducting children's crusades over the years and introducing children, hundreds of children to Jesus Christ. We pray God blesses her work as she transitions into our, her retirement. Commendations also to our children for the outstanding pieces of work for the Karu Art Festival. Mr. Tom Lee Roberts shared painting techniques with our children at our art workshops and we are grateful. Special congratulations also to Amelia Lee Jones for her award-winning poem, 
submitted to the General Conference's Talents for Jesus competition. We praise God for our amazing volunteers across the Union and took time out to publicly express our appreciation to them for giving freely of their time, talents, and resources to this important ministry. Thank you for nurturing the seed of the gospel planted in the hearts of our children. As I close, I want to remind us that true success for this ministry is measured by the number of children who become lifelong disciples of Jesus. And we are well advised to pay careful attention to the little flock and prepare them for the crisis ahead. Thank you to all our children and adolescents who use their gifts and talents to share Jesus and to help others. Grateful thanks to the parents also for their unfailing support. To our team of innovative and supportive directors, thank you for your invaluable contribution to the growth and the development of this ministry. May we constantly continue to pray that our children grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and the Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.